I want to talk about a film that's different than the kind of films I usually talk about. I like, you know, kind of sophisticated adult entertainment. And this is for adults and for kids. It's a family movie. It's called American Underdog, which is a biographical film about Kurt Warner, the quarterback, the famous quarterback for the uh, St. Louis Rams, who went from being a clerk in a grocery store, you know, stocking shelves, to being the MVP of the season, the MVP of the Super Bowl, and the winner of the Super Bowl. I think he was in two Super Bowls, perhaps, uh, but he became, you know, a, a great player. It is one of the greatest stories in sports. It has no question about it. It was one of the truly, I mean, sports has a million great stories. This is one of them. Here's just a brief clip of the trailer. All my life, I've defined myself through sports. I've always come up empty. Coach, I can win for you. You need to start thinking about life after football, son. We gave you the chance. We're letting you go. I was meant for something. Something more. You think you could be that guy? Yeah, I do. What are you doing here? I wasn't ready for it, but I am now. You defied all odds. I've waited for it. I've bled for it. I know who I am, and I know why I'm here. If you give me a chance. Green went down hard and is not getting up. I will not let you down. Zachary Levy plays Warner. Anna Paquin plays his wife. Uh, it's got your favorite uh, conservative actors in it. Dennis Quaid, uh, Adam Baldwin uh, are all in it, and they're just uh, terrific. But the thing that really got me about it is it's not that I don't like Christian entertainment. It's that I feel that it stays too much within its lane. I feel that it kind of tells people what they want to hear. Uh, it's too, it's often too pat. It solves everybody's problems through God. God doesn't solve all your problems. You're still going to have problems. You're still going to have tragedy in your life, even with God. And, and God is a hard sell because nobody has seen God and movies are a visual art. And so it's hard to talk about him without sounding kind of sappy. And it's not that's not the fault of the filmmakers. That's not the fault of the writers. That's just a, a point. You know, Alfred Hitchcock said you should never show people having sex and you should never show people praying. And I think the reason he said that was because those are very deeply internal experiences that become kind of pornographic from seeing from the outside. If you're watching people make love, you are not having the experience of making love. If you're watching someone pray, you're not having the experience of prayer. And so Christian film presents Presents real problems to people. And a lot of times we who complain about these things, we say, well, it should have, you know, more, it should be more raw, more ugly, more tough. But that's not necessarily it. It's just a way of sort of getting this character, God, into the character's lives as he enters your life invisibly and through other people. And this film comes very, very close to pulling it off. It's a family film. It's an upbeat film. It's an inspiring film, but it's not a dopey film. It's not a dumb film at all. I was really wrapped up into it. Now, I have to say it would be hard to tell this story badly. Like I said, it is one of the great sports stories, so it would be hard to tell it badly. But they held back on the God routine, and they just slowly kind of built up the fact that this is a person, God, a character in the life, especially of the woman who becomes Kurt Warner's wife, uh, who has guided her and guided her life, and she's checking with him to see what she should be doing, and Warner sort of slowly comes along. Acting's good. Writing is mostly good. One or two lines I would have cut out that were a little too harsh, that hit the button a little too hardly, too solidly, I guess I should say, but, but still, the the plot is so is so amazing. I mean, the story is just so amazing, and it gets certain things right. That, in other words, he's not the guy is not ready to be a professional football player until he gets his priorities straight. And they limb his character very, very well. You know, a character who maybe doesn't always show up, who has to think too hard to make the right decision, who doesn't know what he's got to do in the moment that he's got to do it and misses an opportunity because of that and frequently misses opportunities. It shows the stresses between him and his wife. It shows the stresses of the life she has chosen to live. It makes it clear that these are things that people choose to do and the, the 
the value of family. I, I got to say, you know, as Christian films go, which is still a developing field, a field that is trying to get better, this is one of the best. Uh, American Underdog, very enjoyable. If your kids are sports fans at all, they'll really like it. And it is just a truly moving a truly moving story and a truly moving telling of that story. And uh, Zach Levy is, uh, is terrific. Uh, American Underdog, good film. For more great content, subscribe and like, subscribe to the Andrew Claven podcast and get my new book, The Truth and Beauty, how the lives and works of England's greatest poets point the way to a deeper understanding of the words of Jesus. It will change your life for the better. <laughs>